You could probably be a board member for any of the major clubs. Weren't you a leader of the debate club last year? Mm. To be honest, I can't settle the politics around major clubs. It feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity and how to prepare for events. I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. Well, that's cool. I can respect that. And if it encourages others to get in the literature, then I'm fulfilling that dream. Not really, but okay. Monica really is a great leader. Yuri also nods in agreement. Then I'm surprised there aren't more any, any more people in this club yet. It must be hard to start a new club. You could put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting out all the effort to start something brand new. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention, like literature. You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. But it makes school events like the festive. <laughs> I know they're building up care, like the characters. God, I hate light novels. No, well, I don't hate them. I just they're not my type of games. I'm confident that we'll all really grow this club before we graduate, right? Everyone, yeah, we'll do our best. You know it. Everyone enthusiastically agrees. Such different girls, all interested in the same goal. Monica must have worked really hard to find these three. Oh, why was keep? Maybe that's why they're all delighted by the idea of a new member joining. Though I still don't really know if I can keep up with their level of enthusiasm about literature. Snore. Wait, Donna, what kind of things do you like to read? Do I make a choice? I don't really have a good way of answering that. Manga? <laughs> wow. Wow. What a loser. I'm a loser. Feels bad. It looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. Not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after she- Oh. Anyway, what about you? Uh, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. My favorite seizure are novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The love of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. She seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. But you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Isn't it amazing how a writer can be so deliberate can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you off for a loop? Hmm. Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. I read a horror book once. I desperately grasped something I can relate to at the minimal. <laughs> at this rate, at least Yuri might be able to might as well have a conversation with a rock. <laughs> I wouldn't have expected that, Yuri. For someone as gentle as you, I guess you could say that. But if a short, but if the story makes me think or takes me to another world, then I can't really put it down. Surreal horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. What up, Joshua? I hate horror. Why is that? No, I don't like Natsuki at all. I don't like her short pink hair. I don't like the childhood neighbor. Fuck them both. If if I get to choose who to die, yes. There you go. First time you're seeing a Doki Doki. Ah, this is the first time I'm playing any VN. Or VN. Yeah, VN. LN. I should retitle it to VN. Let me do that real quick. Well, I just, uh... Natsuki's eyes dart over to me for a split second. Never mind. That's right. You usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? What? What gives you that idea? You left the piece of scrap paper behind the last club meeting. It looked like you were working on a poem called Don't Say It Out Loud, and it gives and give me that back. Fine, fine. Your cupcakes, your poems, everything you do is just as cute as you are. I don't like her. So, uh, 
Siddles? 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 The Siddles up behind... Siddles? I'm just gonna say sides. Up behind, uh, behind Natsuki and puts her hands on her shoulder. I'm not cute. Natsuki, you write your own poems? Well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometime? No! <laughs> she averts her eyes. You wouldn't like them. I'm not a very confident writer yet. I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. I remember writing in high school. I had to create a writing class. I gave no fucks. Very angsty back then. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities and showing them the deepest reaches of your heart. Do you have writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example and help Natsuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. Hmm. I guess it's the same for Yuri. I wanted to read everyone's poem. What is this, the writing club? I thought it was the literature club. We all sit in silence for a moment. Okay. I have an idea, everyone. Nani? Natsuki and Yuri look quizzically... Uh, I can't tell if these are made up for actual words. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. That's the homework? The next time we meet, we'll all share them with each other. That way everyone is even. Um... Let's do it. Plus, now that we have a new member, I think it will help us all get a little more comfortable with each other, strengthen the bond of the club. Isn't that right, Donnie? Monica smiles warmly at me once again. If I had to choose... Probably either Monica or Yuri. What's that? Now that we're back to the random topic of me joining the club, I bluntly come forth with what's been on my mind the entire time. I never said I would join this club. Kappa. <laughs> Sayuri might, ha may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decision. I still have other clubs to look at, and um, I lost my train of thought. Wow, they all look pissed at me. All four girls stare back at me with dejected eyes. But, oh, I'm sorry, I thought. Hmm. You all... <laughs> I would have not cared. I would have just walked out and be like, thanks for the cupcakes. I'm gonna go check out uh, the anime club. How am I supposed to make this clear-headed decision when it's like this? That is, if writing poems is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls, right. Okay, I've decided then. I'll join the- uh, oh, it is the literature club. I thought it was the reading club for some reason. How did I already forget the title of the game? <laughs> one by one, the girl's eyes light up. I'm so happy! Sayori wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. Hey... You really did scare me for a moment. If you really just came by for cupcakes, I would be super pissed. And that makes it official. She seems like best girl. Monica. Welcome to the Literature Club. Ah, uh, thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone. I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone remember tonight's assignment. Write a poem and bring it to the next meeting so we can all share. Monica looks over at me once more. Donnie, I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. <laughs> yeah. Can I really impress the class star Monica with my mediocre writing skills? I'm already- I already feel the anxiety welling up inside of me. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit-chat as Yuri and Natsuki clean up their food. Hey Donnie, since we're over here, do you want to walk home together? That's right, Sierra and I never walk home together anymore because she's always days after school for clubs. Would have been like, whatever, sure. I'm about to just redo all my dialogue with what I actually think. <laughs> Whenever it gets to me. With that, the two of us depart the club room and make our way home. The whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between the girls. Sayori, Natsuki, Yuri, and of course Monica. Will I really be happy spending every day after school in the literature club? I mean... If I didn't know any better, this would turn into like 
something I can't stream on Twitch. Perhaps I'll have the chance to grow closer to one of these girls. Alright. I just need to make the most out of my circumstances and I'm sure good fortune will find me. And I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. Oh boy. Oh, that's kind of cute. <laughs> Pick words you think your favorite club member will like. Something good might happen with whoever likes your poem the most. Ooh, 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 ooh. Who's gonna like my poem the most? I want to, uh, either Yuri or Monica. I like it. Um. Hmm. Hmm. I, uh, damn, I wasn't really paying attention to their, like, reactions. That makes me want to go a little slower now. Okay. Vivacious? Okay, that's a smart word, so I think Yuri would like that. Sugar's a cute word. Pop is a... I, that's, that's all directed towards words, um... Bitch, I don't like. All these could really pertain to Yuri. Let's go with... Let's go with Misery. <laughs> um... How fucked up can I get it? Let's go with all the bad ones. Hopeless. Um, alone. Um, dark. Let's go with love. Maybe... Yeah. Infallible, sadness, kiss, loud. Essence, Embrace, Inferno, Special. Uh, Infallible. <laughs> oh, fuck. Do I get a game over screen the moment I... Hmm. Uh, let's put some happy shit in there. Pink. Uh, Laugh. Let's, let's go with Cage. Or Beats Honey Death. Death. Esther. Unending. S Together. Nightgown. Lust. Wait. Maybe I should have picked a bunch of shit that symbolizes sex. Mm. Socks? Amazing imagination. Let's go with amazing. Those are all totally random, but okay. Hi again, Donnie. Glad to see you didn't run away on us. Ha ha ha. Nah, don't worry. Don't worry about it. This might be a little strange for me, but at least kept my word. Well, I'm back at the Literature Club. I was the last to come in, so everyone else was already hanging out. Thanks for keeping your promise, Donnie. I hope this isn't too overwhelming for a commitment of a commitment for you. Making you dive headfirst into literature when you're not accustomed to it? Oh, come on, like he deserves any slack. Bitch, please. Sayori told me you didn't even want to join any clubs this year. And last year, too. I don't know if you plan to just come here and hang out or what, but if you don't take it seriously, then you won't see the end of it. Natsuki, you certainly have a big mouth for someone who keeps her manga collection in the club. She wait, she likes manga? Guess I could warm up to her a little. Just a little bit. <laughs> Natsuki finds herself stuck between saying Monica and manga. Manga is literature. Swiftly defeated, Natsuki plops back into her seat. Don't worry, guys. Donnie always gives the best. It gives his best as long as he's having fun. He helps me with busy work without even asking. Like cooking, cleaning my room. How dependable. Sorry, that's because your room is so messy it's distracting. <laughs> that's because your room is shit, girl. And you almost set your house on fire once. How bad of a klutz is she? I mean, that's very cliche to have like... Like... 
supposedly best girl waifu slash next door neighbor to be a klutz, but